Hi everybody, Dick Coughlin here. Some of you may remember uh, a couple of months ago, uh, I think it was back in like uh, it was back in like maybe February, I made a video called I Have Come to Bury Onision, which was an amazing video. You should go and watch it. It was a bloody long fucking rant about Onision, who had just uploaded a video announcing that he was leaving YouTube. Now, it would have been optimistic um, for us to assume that Onision was actually going to leave YouTube because he didn't. He was back within a couple of months. Um, and uh, I, I don't know whether this is true or not, but I did hear from a couple of people that apparently he tried to get a job with Uber and then he quit after people kept recognising him. Yeah, sucks that, doesn't it, Greg? Anyway, um, so yeah, now you might be wondering, now I know I did say at the time, I said in that video that I was done making video responses to Onision. And, uh, and I meant it. I meant it. And you might be saying, well, why are you making another video, Richard, about Onision? Literally nobody cares. And you're right. However, the only reason I am making this video response to Onision is because the guy who asked me to paid me. That is it. And I want you to... And, and the reason I'm saying that, right, you might think that reflects badly on me, but I think it reflects worse on Greg. Like, I think, Greg, when you've got to a point... When you, you your, your, your lack of relevance has dipped so low that even Dick Coughlin will not fucking bother making a response. He won't even get out of bed and flick his webcam on for less than 50 bucks. You're done. I mean, at that stage, you're done. And uh, now the video I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna respond to is actually um, it's actually not on his uh, channel anymore. Let me just. Uh, Bring myself down here. This video now. The video was called just called when he uploaded it. It was just called a rant, and uh, this copy is actually not. You know, sorry. This co this copy here is actually on my channel. I had to upload it because I downloaded it, and it was a bloody good job I did too because he he deleted it within like a day, and um, the only reason uh, like and and there's no I can't find another copy of it anywhere. So the only reason this fucking sorry this. The only reason this fucking copy exists is because I fucking got it and otherwise this wouldn't happen. So he took this video down. Again, I have no idea why. Could not give less of a monkey's fart why. But I thought, fuck it. So here we're going to go. I'm just going to, I'm going to burn through this and, you know, and I'm not going to bust a blood vessel. But uh, I'm not going to, not going to edit this. I'm just going to play this and, uh, and we'll just see what, we'll see what Greg's got to say. What's, what you been up to? What you been up to, Greg? Go on. Why don't you give us the old 411, my homie? Yo, you know all those people that were on that documentary about me? The, no, Greg, I don't. Do you, do, wait a minute. Greg, there was a documentary made about you? Well, why haven't you said? I had no idea. Oh, yes, wait, that's it. You mentioned it. That's literally all you've talked about for the last fucking eight months. Literally every fucking... The only video you have uploaded that I have fucking seen, uh, or I'm aware of, that did not... That was not you fucking just venting spleen about this pissing documentary which i think is all you've got left because since then you've been done at this stage there's like no one's bothering with you right like even me done right i think the the uh, the only reason right you you're banging on about it is because that was where it ended. that was the last thing you had to fucking go on about but yes Greg, that's all you talk about the only video i've seen was a video you made called you know something like at jake which was had at jake paul where you were challenging jake paul to a fight i don't think so mate i don't think so they're actually fighting professional fucking mma fighters and professional boxers who've won championships i they ain't gonna fight i've told you greg you need to fucking lower your i'll fight you greg fuck it i reckon we could i reckon if we fuck you know i'll go out and see you i reckon we could like you know i reckon if we got a fucking you know kick kickstarter a, you know, crowd. We could crowdsource the money to get me to go out there to have a fight with you. Not a proper professional one, mind you. Just me and you in a car park, like round a fire, naked. That's it. That's it. But anyway, so yeah. So you were saying, Greg, about these the people that are in this documentary. They hate each other. <laughs> okay. First of all, don't fake laugh, Greg. Um, secondly, okay. Everyone in that documentary, they hate each other. Oh. Is that, it, it doesn't doesn't yeah, but th th no one cares about that though, do they, Greg? Because that documentary weren't about you, you know. So get this. 
I warned you guys, right? I said, like... Who are you uh, talking can... to? What do you mean, you guys? No one's watching you anymore, Greg. It's just it's just me on this video, and that's it. There's just a couple of... There's just a few more tro people who are just going to troll you just because they can't let it go. And other than that, but no one's bothered about it. You know, you've got, like, a... You've got a few thousand people who give a shit now. So who are you talking to? People lie, and they're not honest. Yeah, people and do lie, and they're not honest. I'm assuming that that includes you, Greg. But, of course, you treat people as if they lie. They do nothing but lie. You know, but they don't, do they? You know, people sometimes lie or tell the truth. Sometimes people don't lie. Sometimes people say things that aren't true, but they're not lying. They could be mistaken, they could be misled, they could be, you know, whatever. Anything. And when they they lie and they're not honest, I kick them out of my life. Yeah, it's cool. You kick everyone out of your life. That's it, isn't it, Greg? It's never the other way around. It's never, and that's it. It's, you, you meet people, they lie, that's it. That's all that happens. Right? Forget everything else. Right? So I kick people who lie and are not honest out of my life. That, that's just, that's it. That's all that's ever happened. And they're so bitter about it, and they're so mad at me about it, that they start saying horrible things about me. I think that, actually, Greg, it's the horrible things that beforehand, isn't it? People say horrible things about you. That, and, and isn't it weird, Greg, how it's literally every single person? Like, it's not just a few people. You know, we all have bad relationships. We all have friendships and relationships that don't you know, that end, that end badly or don't go or don't turn out well. Or might end up getting a bit bitter. But with you, it's everyone. It's every single person. You know? Now, either you are an appalling judge of character. Or maybe, Greg, maybe all of those people, or at least some of them, have got, you know, you know what's the common denominator? You want to talk about science? What's the one common denominator in all of your failed fucking relationships? It's you, isn't it? But they had it in their heads, like, I should team up with the other people that this dude kicked out of his life, and then we'll all get along and whatever. No, Greg, none of them thought that none of them fucking were thinking, oh, let's form a fucking support group. They just wanted to get you. They just thought, fuck it, is our chance to fucking defy. Let's all, you know, it doesn't matter whether they like each other, Greg. It's irrelevant. Just because people get on or don't get on. Doesn't mean it doesn't exonerate you. you know hating someone else and hating you are not mutually exclusive. No, what happened was they Fred and Rose West were both awful people. Doesn't matter how much they loved each other or they did or they liked it. You know, it doesn't matter. They're both awful people. Yeah. Literally got to know each other and they're like. That's why people do not form relationships, Greg. You know, you, you can't form a relationship with someone. You can't have a basis for a relationship that is, you know, we were fucked over by Greg. Right? Who cares whether they get on with each other? I don't need them. No one needs them to. And kicked you out of his life. Oh my God! Wait, <gasps> he kicked me out of his life. I'm, I'm you! They didn't do that though, did they, Greg? Right? They, they have, none of them have retracted anything. They all stand by everything you did. They just don't get on with each other too. And they might have been, they might be just as bad as you. But this ain't about them, Greg. This is about you. Right? Statistically, there would be a large number of, there was a, there would be a percentage of people in the 11 million people who were in the Holocaust who were, who were, who were rapists and pedophiles and, and, and liars and extortionists and fucking, and got, you know, and, and you know, zoo sadists or whatever, you know, but that doesn't mean it, the Holocaust was in any way justified, you know, doesn't make it right, does it? <laughs> You're a liar! And then they're like, no, you're a liar. And they're like, no, no, you're a liar. I warn you guys about people. Don't look so smug, Greg. It's not like it's not like anyone cares. And you don't listen and you cancel me over. You cancel me so many times. Greg, the people who've canceled you are not watching this fucking video. They're not watching any of your videos. So who are you talking to? 
times. And then time passes and you realize they're awful. Just like I told you. You keep believing people because you... Well, maybe game recognizes game in that case. That doesn't mean you're any better. Find my personality to be distasteful. I find your personality to be distasteful is the least of my worries, Greg. There are lots of people out there who I agree with and whose content I support, but who, put on a personal level, not really that fucking keen on. Then there's people who I disagree with on everything, who I actually, for some, you know, strangely get along quite well with. It's got your personality's got nothing to do with it. It does just so happen that you are. You have got an incredibly fucking objectionable and hateable personality, and you're a massive cunt. You believe anything anyone says that's bad about me, right? But I... Why not? I keep being right about them. Like, what, just... what have you been right about? You know, only if you change your story. Just because you don't want me to win. Just because you don't this, want... This, this is winning, is it, Greg? You want me to be right doesn't mean I'm not right, and I'm not... Winning. This isn't winning. No one's winning, Greg. Greg, nobody, even the girl, even the people in that documentary who made it, this is nobody's ideal scenario, Greg. Nobody. If you're a victim of abuse, whether or not your vict your your abuser gets you know gets his comeuppance and karma finally catches up to him, it doesn't make it fucking better. It doesn't, right? That's nobody's ideal scenario. Nobody, you know, nobody wants this. <laughs> this is losing, but you're playing a game in a world where uh, liars. And this is this is funny, is it? This is fun, is it? Thrive. Yeah, we're and playing. We're liars thrive. Says says the guy with sev three channels with several million subscribers, who's been doing, who's made a fortune. Who's probably made a shitload of money over the last few years? This is a game where winners thrive, right? Just because life, just because you fucking burnt every bridge and you fucking have finally got to the point where you have pissed off and you are that fucking toxic, and you are that fucking that, that nobody, there's no one left, right? And it, you, you're never gonna shake that off. That's what you're gonna be forever, right? Just because life has caught up to you doesn't mean that you know. You, know, you can't ignore the previous fucking 13 years where you had you were getting millions of views. You can't ignore that, Greg. And the liars act so surprised when they realize other liars are liars. And I feel like I'm like one of the last people in the world who just wants to tell the truth. Oh, fucking go eat a bag of rotten horse dicks for that one. I'm one of the last people. Just consider that statement. Consider the delusion, right? C consider the delusion needed for y someone, to, for him, for anybody to say, I'm one of the last people on earth, in the world, who wants to tell the truth. Yes, Greg, you're, you're one of, who are the other couple? Just you, Jesus and Mahatma Gandhi. Well, like it is. And you know what? Nice guys finish last. Oh, don't give me that fucking shit and all. You ain't fi This is the first time you've been last in a long fucking time, motherfucker. And you know what? That last night, nice guys finish last. That is a fucking, that is a bullshit rationalization that losers make to try and console themselves for being losers. So they can say, well, the only reason I didn't win is because I'm, I'm a good person. Right? No, that's not how it fucking works. There are good people in this world, and there are good people who succeed. And then there are bad people who succeed. Then there are good and bad people who fail. Right? But then people are people... Can you define people as good or bad? No. But if we're talking nice guys finishing last, it's taken a while for you to get there. Don't give me that horse shit. Okay? No Captain good thing goes wow. unpunished. You try to help people. You try to do good things for them. And then they just hurt you over and over again. So you well, maybe that's your fault, Greg. You know, lots of other people manage to make people. You know, there's no. You know, like I said, everybody has bad fucking experiences. Everybody meets bad people that have relationships and friendships that turn sour. But when it's everybody, when it's everybody from all your partners, your girlfriends, your friends, you know. Your, your, your fucking adopted daughter, eventually it will be your kids, your fucking family. 
That's the other video you made that weren't about it. It was about your dad calling him your dad, you know, a, a, a pathological liar and a child abuser. It must be genetic. Get them out of your life, and they don't stop hurting you. They still do crazy, crazy stuff. And they, they feel good about it the whole time. I had somebody literally... It, could you just make this to a mirror? Apologize to me I'm twice. Not... Her name is Sarah. Sarah. She apologized to me twice for raping me. Okay? She apologized is... to him twice. Twice. Right? I don't know about you, Greg, but you don't sound... That doesn't... You don't, you don't sound too cut up about it. And I think I know why. I think I know why, actually. Let's actually... Because this idea that... Now, Sarah, let me explain this for those of you who don't know, so you won't have to go, because I'm not going to assume that it, you lot pay... But I had to look a lot of this stuff up as well. Sarah was a girl who is a young... is a young woman. Oh, she's a young woman now. But she was a... She was a fan of Onision, who apparently... You know, she, Onision, you know, had been in contact with and had been, like, you know, sharing messages with since she was, like, 13 or 14 years old. Then, apparently, she, when she was 16, she uh, she apparently had some... You know, she was having problems, uh, at, you know, in her home life. I don't know what they are. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But the long and the short of it is, she ended up getting... She ended up moving in with, uh, with Greg and Greg's partner, Kai, and they became Sarah's legal... Fucking guardians, right? They were her. You know, basically, uh, they say she adopted this fucking fag. You know, this this girl, right? And uh, and and then uh, and and uh, at some point, um, you know, she apparently joked. Um, and this is Greg saying this. I don't know again whether this is true or not. She joked that oh, I could destroy. You know, I could destroy you guys if I wanted to. And Greg. Made you know did the most normal thing that you know all of us would do in that circumstance, uh, where someone you know sort of you know threatened to you know destroy us by you know by saying things about you know by telling people things about us. Um, he tried to get her to sign a non-disclosure agreement. I know, completely normal. Um, you know, you wouldn't sit there and go, well, we haven't done anything wrong, so there. No, no, not that. No, you get to, you know, and, and because there was one point that Greg admits to, I can't believe it's the only example, where he did make a comment about Sarah's booty when she was 17 years old. Uh, and and um, and that, that that's the one he, thing he says. Um, I don't know, I don't, again, I don't care, but that's the only one he's willing to d divulge. And apparently he's worried that she's going to use this, so he tries to get her to sign a non-disclosure agreement, which again, is just totally fucking weird that you would do that. Um, and then, but then uh, Sarah, who uh, had now at this point just turned 18, said to Greg that she, uh, said to Greg and Kai that she would, she, she would only sign the non-disclosure agreement if, she, you know, if Greg and Kai slept with her, if she could have a threesome with you two, and Greg simply had to, and um, but he wasn't using the term rape. This this thing about her raping him, um, this is a new thing. And in fact, I'll I will you know I'll play you video because we've got the receipts, Greg, or at least I've got the fucking receipts, and here they are. Now, does this sound? Now this is a, this is him explaining it. Uh, he'll cover things that I've just mentioned. Let's see. Do any of you fucking hear the term? I don't hear the term rape. Uh, in uh, in this fucking bit here, you know, gotten to that point where there was a vibe and we felt like something might happen someday. I don't know. There was a vibe. There was a vibe. She might rape me one day. Um, but then Sarah said that she would only sign an NDA if she got what she wanted. And unfortunately, a few months prior, this is a teenage girl. Yeah, you know, somehow coercing two full-grown adults. She joked about... And, and she's not even trying. ...about being able to destroy our lives if she wanted to. I was just like, ha... Oh, she's fucking done that, ain't she? Ha ha. But that kind of got the gears spinning in my head, like, maybe I should have this person sign an NDA because... Imagine I... that. That's the thing that spin... That's what pops in your head. Better get her to sign a non-disclosure agreement. You couldn't just, like, say, kick her out. And then, and then fucking say, you know, I kicked her out because she was, you know, she was trying, she, you know, she was being inappropriate and that. You know, that would be a novel idea, wouldn't it, Greg? You know, you... I don't want them going around saying horrible things. Um, even if, you know, if they're untrue, 
you could still take legal action because of the NDA. You know? Um, yes, but it's the fact, Greg. If it's not true, you shouldn't need... That should be enough. Not the fact that you signed an NDA. That shouldn't be the fucking reason. If they were true, I just didn't know what she'd be talking about. It was less, less was like that booty though, that comments. Um, that but I didn't want her going around saying, oh, that booty though, that booty though. Or well, Greg, maybe you shouldn't sit there. Maybe you shouldn't casually make comments, you know, and, you know just throw out these, these casual fucking, you know, you, maybe you should think before you sit there and, you know, and compliment your 17-year-old adopted daughter's ass. Thing like that so uh yeah but as i've reiterated repeatedly um nothing inappropriate happens i guess outside that booty dough comments uh, that, and of course the fact that i shagged her but apart from that uh prior to her turning 18 and a half 18, uh, 18 and a half folks 18 and a half not a quarter a half um she planted that kiss on it's Kai. She's practically 30. I mean, I, and there wasn't anything else. I hadn't done anything. Kai hadn't done anything. But uh, once she said, you know, I'm only going to uh, sign this NDA if you sleep with me, um, was the clear message there. Um, we felt pressured. Like, we had no choice. Uh, of course, you had no choice. There was no option. I literally, I had to have sex with this teenager. Greg, if there's one thing any teenage girl out there who has, you know, spent any time in your company knows, is you don't need to blackmail Onision to sleep with you. Um, because I had remembered that comment prior uh, of her saying she could ruin my life if she wanted to. So we slept with her. Uh, well, uh, that's... No, I slept with her and she uh, performed oral on Kai. I love the way he's acting like he's like, and then she performed oral. Oh God, I'd call that sleeping with her. That's good enough. You know, I think you're splitting hairs a bit there, Greg. Um, Kai can't say was 100% on board. I... She was not 100% on board. Not completely, not... That's, you know, that's, that's not 0%. But tell us about you. I... Was... Uh, more on board than Kai. I, I actually slept with Sarah, like, 100%. Um, on January... Of 2000. I slept with her. Not she raped me, right? Not, you know, she, you know she's not used that. You know, 19. You know, and now if you were raped, I think you would use that term, particularly in this context. It would be appropriate if that's what happened. But you don't seem that cut up. Rape victims don't tend to come out and say, you know, and say, yeah, you know, yeah, and so I, I slept with her and, uh, you know, and, uh, I, and it was totally awesome. And I think, you know, and I, you know, and I'd have done it anyway. She didn't even need to, you know. So Sarah wanted to be with Kai. I wanted to be with Kai. Sarah wanted to be with me. I was fine with being with Sarah um, at 18 and a half. I didn't see the problem with it. Uh, yeah, I'm not fucking surprised. You know, to see, didn't see the problem with it. Oh, well, Greg, you were being raped. Surely you must have seen the problem with it, Greg. You can't not have seen the problem with it. No, no, but you're, now you're using it to score points. This is real world. And then she went and played victim on a documentary. I know it's weird that this this teenage girl who you had coerced, from, you know, who, who was under your care, who you had a duty, a legal duty of care to, ended up in bed with both you and your partner. And some reason people take her side. And she also found out that she hated Shiloh. Who cares? Fuck Shiloh! She's like, oh, I hate Shiloh. They, Billy and Sarah both tweeted that they hate Shiloh. So what, Greg? No, so what? It doesn't matter. And they're all tweeting back and forth that they're they're liars. Oh, you're a liar. No, you're a liar. And it's like, guys, I warned you. What did you did you, Greg? Please tell me, Greg. Was it? Did you did you get raped or not? I don't care whether she fucking apologized or not. That's not what you said. That's not what you said. You you sounded very keen. 
And it's not surprising either, because let's go back down here. Here's another one where he, you know, where he talks about, you know, he try, you know, because again, he can't keep his fucking mouth shut. He has to try and he has to try and rationalise everything. So this was another video he made at the time. Um, this is him talking about. Um, you know, well, I'll just let this one play out. You know, eighteen uh, stuff like there's a whole category on uh, xnxx.com. That's a porn site. It's a fucking shitty porn site as well. I don't know what you. Know what you're going on that one for? Where it's just 18. Uh, so there's a huge obsession with. Okay, Greg. Yes, there is a yes a, a category a category of porn is teen or barely legal or you could put 18, 19. Yes, Greg. Right. Here's a f f the big thing for you though, Greg. Just to let you know that's pornography, right? That's not the real world. That's a fantasy, right? And and spoiler, mate. Most of the women in in those videos, they're about 30. Right, very few of them are actually fucking eighteen, nineteen years old. Right, and there's lots of things in port. You know, you can type lots of things into 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 port certain porn sites, and you can find it. It doesn't mean that you know you can't use it as a justification. You know, you could you you could literally you could type in rape, and you'll get simulated rape porn. Doesn't make it. Doesn't. It's not fucking. It's not real. Yeah, those videos where it's like you know where it's like it's like in, in, in you know stepmother fucks fucks fuck stepson. It's not real, you know. Those women in nurses' uniforms, they're not they're not really nurses, you know. Most of them haven't even got basic understanding of health and hygiene, you know, considering what they end up doing in the fucking surgery, right? It's disgusting, quite frankly. But yeah, Greg. So who cares what pornography? Yes, people find 18-year-olds attractive, right? So what? You know, people who are uh, the least likely to produce Down syndrome babies. Oh my fucking God! That's your fucking... Cr That's what does it for you. Most people, Greg, whatever people want to think about the fucking... You know, about people who, 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 re who, who watch stuff like that, fuck it, I'm not interested, Right? I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to judge anyone. No one's being fucking armed. But you know, I don't think anybody watches it thinking, you know. Well, I'm looking for, you know. No, there's no category. They're not looking for a. They're not looking to jack off. They're, they're thinking, oh, she's attractive. She she looks she looks attractive. You know, and young and firm and everything's in the right place. I'm going to jack off to that. No one's sitting there thinking, well, you know, I only want to jack off to women who are least likely to produce Down syndrome babies. You know, it doesn't doesn't work the other way around, does it? If someone's looking at mature women, women who are in their like forties and that, they're not doing it because they're thinking, oh god, well, oh, I wouldn't mind having a fucking Down syndrome kid with it. No one's thinking that, Greg. That's not a fucking, that's not a deal breaker. Literally, statistically, that's something else you should Google. No, no, I won't Google it, Greg. I'm going to take your word for it. For the first time ever, Greg, in, in, in the 13 years I've been watching you, I actually am willing to take your word for this because I reckon you have totally looked this up because you are the fucking type of nutter who thinks this is a justification for, for, what, for, for, you know, for, for your bizarre obsession with very young women. Uh, Google the ages of people who produce Down syndrome babies, and there's nothing against Down syndrome babies. I'm just saying it's considered a defect or whatever. Uh, a defect or whatever. Fucking how old was your mum then? Fucking hell. You ain't normal. George Burns and Mother Teresa must have had a one-night stand. Medically. But uh, look up the statistics, and when you start out at 18, it's like the smallest chance of having a Down syndrome baby. And then you... Well, surely, surely the ages below that are... Either smaller or just as small, aren't they? So would that be okay? I mean, a girl can get pregnant when she's... You know, girls get pregnant when they're 12, 13. Presumably they're... They're even less likely. Is that okay? Is it okay to find them attractive? Is it okay for you to have sex with them on the base? This is not... This won't hold up in court, Greg. Assuming you file the right case with the right fucking people. You go all the way to 35, and 35, it becomes like almost a 50-50 chance. Oh, that's bollocks. That is absolute... I don't even need to look that up. That is bollocks. Uh, you do, it's not a case you get to 35 and it's bang, fucking... Oh, 50-50, Down syndrome. Who knows? It's a flip of a coin. Fuck off. Um, according to my research... According uh, to your research, fucking hell. 
What research? Why are you researching this shit? As well as other defects. Other so... defects as well. Is that the, is that what you're looking at? There's no category on, on any porn site, Greg, called but most likely to have birth defects. When you have people who are attracted to 18 and 19 year olds, you're talking about people who are attracted to people who are at the premium age for breeding. And Holy that is on a shit. scientific level. So we like to... It's scientific level. Greg... It's not okay. Greg, you're not in trouble because you find, you, you look at an 18 or a 19 year old and think, oh, they're attractive. There's nothing weird about that, right? If you found them attractive when you were 18, you're going to find them attractive when you're 38 or when you're 88, right? That's just, but it's not, that's not it, Greg. It's the fact you had a, it's the fact, A, you knew this girl from the age of 14, B, you were her legal guardian and and C, the, the sex you had with her was literally just after she turned 18, turned 18 and it was a threesome with, with you and your, her other legal guardian, which you then fucking try and spin as, as rape. And, if, and if, if it was rape, why are you justifying this? She raped you, Greg. You, can't, you don't need to justify it, do you? Like this social justice warrior shame people? Uh, for being attracted to people who are actually at the premium age of breeding, which is 18, 19. Oh, and, shit. you know, if you want to be outraged by science, that's fine. Be outraged by science, be an idiot. Yeah, yeah, you're uh, out, yeah, it's you outraged by fucking science. That's you, yeah, that's science, that is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, let's think about, let, you know, I'm just gonna let this one play out, this one. This is another clip. This has got nothing to do with, uh, you know, this has got nothing to do with any, any of this fucking drama. But I just, I just want to share this clip because I think, I mean, it speaks for itself. One night, she leaves her toddler with me and uh, my two kids. So I'm watching three total kids. And her toddler, about 20 minutes before they get back from this movie, uh, poops themselves, right? This is a little girl, little girl toddler, okay? So I say, hey, your uh, kid pooped himself. He, he, left, a t he left a child. With you know, with a with you know, with a poop-filled nappy for twenty minutes. Presumably, if she'd done it two hours before, you'd have left him there. Uh, and he's on his own, remember. But I'm not changing their diaper. And that person says uh, to my spouse, "Why won't he change my kid's diaper?" And my spouse responds, you know, with internet culture today and and how society is in general a uh, man changing another woman's little girl's diaper uh that could turn into some kind of insane crap online so N no it literally wouldn't greg this would be the one time when uh, if you had if you had changed this girl's this girl's diaper and this woman tried to spin it going why would she leave her kid in your care you know, knowing that the likelihood of her crapping herself was, you know, was there if she didn't think you were going to do it. And if she then came to say, oh, this guy, Greg, you know, he changed my daughter's dirty, dirty nappy while I let me you know. I, I would be, I, even I would be there going, well, that's not fucking weird. This is weird, Greg. So it's better to just not even go there. Additionally, I don't feel comfortable changing other people's little girls. I just, I don't want to. It's a... He's not comfortable. Now, this is the, this is a really important point here. He's not comfortable changing a little girl's diaper. Presumably, he didn't say just, he's not comfortable changing diapers full stop. He's not comfortable changing a little girl's diaper. Not a little boy's. A little girls. Hey, um, it's gross to me. It's very gross. I don't want to see your kid's business. I don't. I don't want to deal with that. Nobody uh does, Greg. Nobody wants to fucking change. Nobody wants to clean shit up, right? It's but it's part of the fucking. Di That's what happens with kids. They crap themselves. You clean them up, right? Um, if you guys, and this, I'm talking to parents here. If you guys have ever, oh, yeah, you're talking to parents here. Change the diaper, and, and this is going to be very specific, okay? Uh, when a, a baby craps themselves, they kind of poo into their front part, right? The little girl poos. Yes, into Greg. That's because the diaper's on very tightly to keep it all in there, so that it doesn't run down their legs and make a make a mess, and it tries to sort of 
They're not doing it to annoy you, Greg. They're not doing it. To, it's not like the girls going. You know, it's not like the girls going. Oh my, my vagina is all pooey. Please, Greg. You, no. They're not doing it to fucking prick tease you. To her front part. So you have to take a wipe and you have to actually be very thorough in cleaning all of that out so they don't get sick, you know, from poop in their front part. So I didn't want to clean the shit out of another woman's baby's vagina, okay? Uh, let's all be adults here and actually understand. Let's what be adults! Because this is what adults do. Imagine thinking this and believing it was a good idea to record it and make a video about it required when you change someone's diaper okay this so is what i mean greg when you fucking you you do it to yourself you do and that's what really hurts this same chick and this is why i'm chick very, very glad that i didn't change her toddler as well um this same chick goes on to a live stream and openly calls me a pedo and she it's totally you know she's she's first complaining do you think greg maybe then you should have changed the diaper and then she wouldn't have done. Doesn't that say something? Or maybe second complaint about the toddler and not changing the diaper of the toddler, right? She's pissed. She goes on to say that I'm a pedo, okay? So what I'm saying is, and this That's is- That's a fucking weekly occurrence for you. Why I have very little respect for the internet's intelligence is you don't say someone's a pedo and then complain about them not going anywhere near your little girl's business. Greg, it was the other way round. It's not because you- She's not calling you that big and then saying you did and he's a pedophile and he didn't change her fucking nappy. It's not like that. It's the other way round. The only reason is but look at you, you fucking idiot. I think I'm done here. I'm not even watching the rest of this. See you later.